Edges down in. Look at that, it goes like right up to the plastic there. Oh yeah. It even like snaps underneath. Uh, oh, these are so amazing. Uh, so today is a good day. We just returned from Orlando and I had a package waiting for me that I am very, very excited about. So as many of you may know, last February, we bought a 2018 Tesla Model 3, truly best choice I ever made. And one thing that I have not had for that Tesla Model 3 is the like rugged, good floor mats. All I have is a little included uh, cloth ones. But when we got back from Orlando, waiting on our front steps, was this a set of 2017 to 2020 Tesla Model 3 all-weather floor mats for my friends at Taptus. Now this is a uh, six-piece set. You're probably thinking, how is it six pieces? One for the frunk, one for the uh, like extra little storage compartment in the trunk, one for the physical flat part of the trunk, one for the back seat, and then the passenger and driver's seat. That's how it's a uh, six piece. So of course, we're gonna open these up. We're gonna take a look at them, probably right here on this table, because this is the only table big enough for it. Then we'll go out to our Tesla Model 3. We're gonna put these in there and show you how they look and uh, see what we think after using them for a little while. I will, of course, have these linked down below in my description, whether you have the uh, 2017 to 2020 model like I have here, or if you uh, need the newer mats for the 2020 plus Tesla Model 3s. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch and let's check out these Taptis Tesla Model 3 floor mats. Let's open up our floor mats. So as you see, six pieces for the Tesla Model 3. As I also mentioned, these are for the uh, 2021 to June 2022 Tesla Model 3. Same picture here as on the other side, but on the sides of the box, on this side of the box, you can, uh, you can kind of see a little layout of uh, everything that comes in here. So let's open these up. There's also a little disclaimer here. So basically uh, remove the original carpet floor mats. The floor mats might be bent due to uncontrollable shipping. So fold them in reverse and uh, flatten them with a heavy object. So we're definitely gonna do that. So let's look at our nice new Tesla. Oh, these feel so nice. Wow. So here they are. Wow. These, hear that? Like, wow, loving it. So this is uh, the back seat one. Very nice. We'll get it folded the right way and flattened. This is, looks like passenger side mat. I love these. Wow. Very nice, look at this. You can probably see it in this camera, yeah. See that texture on the bottom? That should really grip. And then, nice, very nice. Okay, that's definitely the driver's mat due to that being there where your foot will stay. Same uh, little bit of instructions to flatten. We recommend you put the mat under the sun since sun will help them soften the material and restore it to the correct shape. Cool, and then we have a few more here. So this big one. <sighs> This is for the trunk. This will, well, there we go. That's for the trunk. Very, very nice. And then there's two more, which this is for the uh, like extra compartment underneath the trunk, like the little storage space where normally there'd be a spare tire, but Tesla's trying to be efficient so they don't have spare tires. So uh, yeah, this would protect underneath there. And then uh, this one is for the front. So very, very cool. Love the just feeling and texture of them. I cannot wait to put these mats in my car. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go wash the car, we're gonna vacuum out all the carpet, and then we're gonna come back, put these in, weight them down, and then we'll show you what they look like and let you know uh, what we think after we've uh, used them for a couple days. Before we go, set these outside. And there we go, the other ones were uh, basically the exact size they needed to be. So I folded these, let them get some sun, then we'll go to the car wash, come back and put them in. All right, let's go wash the car.
All right, back to the house. So out with the old and in with the new. So this is a little uh, lower trunk compartment, which is where this one goes. So yeah, curvy part, curvy part. Little mats in. There we go. Now we can put all of our stuff on top of it and then put the lid back on. There, there we go. We got all of our stuff back in. Now we're ready to put the thing in the trunk. There we go. So now the bottom's done. Now we can put our trunk liner in. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Sweet. <laughs> that is beautiful. All right. Trunk is complete. Open our automatic trunk. Oh yeah. So our trunk and this one will pop nicely into place. Just kind of press it down in. And there we go. Now our trunk is nicely protected. Now to the front seats. Slide the seat back. All right. Thank you, McQueen. And slide this one into place. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now the passenger seat. All right. Passenger seat. Oh, I like it. I like how it fits. Nice and snug in there. All right. Passenger seat is done. Now the back seat. This one might be tricky. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So we will slide this in. There we go. Push our little edges down in. Look at that. It goes like right up to the plastic there. Oh yeah, it even like snaps underneath that. Oh, these are so amazing. There we go, the back seat's in. So uh, we're gonna leave these in for a couple days and tell you what we think. Tap test was also nice enough to send us this charger wall mount. Now due to the design of our house with uh, this plastic all around it, we had to kind of improvise, but was able to still make it fit. So whenever I'm done charging our Tesla Model 3, I'm gonna take the cable, bring it over here and neatly plug it right in and now the cable stays there and then whenever I need it and you're able to just kind of pull up and slide out. So it has been a few days that I've been driving the car with these mats in it and let me tell you I absolutely love these things. So I've personally never had nice floor mats like these. I truly think that these are amazing so far from what I've seen with using the trunk and with using the front too. No one ever really sits in the back seat except for Kaylee. They're great. They don't slide. I haven't had any issues. It was even pouring down rain the other day and I was curious how that part would work because once I had water in here, I thought it would stay. You could definitely see the water, but by the next morning, I guess due to like the heat inside the car, it had kind of uh, made all the water disappear. They also seem very, very easy to clean. I actually had to uh, already clean this mat on Wednesday. It's Friday uh, because I stepped in a ton of mud and I mean, it was caked. So pulled it out, rinsed it off, nice and easy. Put it back in the dirt you're seeing now is from the other rain because it's literally rained here all week but so far they have been absolutely amazing zero complaints love the texture of them love the feel of them and i like them a lot better than the cloth mats so i'll of course have this exact set linked down below for a 2018 to mid 2020 tesla model 3 and then i'll also have a set linked for the uh 2020 and forward tesla model 3 that way, you know, if you just look on your door, you can see when your Tesla was made and you'll know exactly which set that you'll need. Of course, I guess you'd only have to do that in 2020. If you have a 2018 to 2019 or 2021 and up, you'll know which set to get. That should do it for this video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com and we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.